there's a funeral today. Hello, Terry here, and we're back with Cemetery Mary. And yeah, there's a funeral. I'm happy. <laughs> wow, okay. Glad that makes you happy, I guess. Is that bad? Mm. No, not really. I had been planning for it. I overheard them talking about it in the cemetery when planning a spot for her. Is that bad? Mm. No, 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 not really. I really enjoy funerals. I mean, there's a lot of things that... more bad, I guess, in this world. Like, rather than judging you, I shall be judging someone who are supposed to be judged, but, but never get to be judged. You know, there's a lot of people like that outside. I always have. Even when... I like to see everyone get around for their lost loved one. They are all so sad. They bring flowers and sometimes even more little parting gifts. Oh. That is so nice. I guess, yeah, if I, if I ever die, please throw a bunch of <laughs> your OC arts to my grave, okay, as a parting gift. <laughs> wow, that's so nice, don't you think? Mm-hmm. If their spirits could talk, I bet they say they appreciate it. Yeah, I would really appreciate those OC arts. You sent me in the grave. I just love seeing them like, oh my god, this OC, this OC is so amazing, beautiful, magnificent. The lore. Will the ghosts attend their own funeral? Hmm. I will. <laughs> okay. Well, in any case, I'm excited for the one today. And I'm excited to see what they are like. Hopping off the bus that morning, I was glad to see I wasn't too late. It's a good thing I always wear black. No one even seemed to turn their head to me as I came near. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing you wear black. <laughs> Just in case someone died near you, isn't it? But oh well. I hope no one ever dies in front of you, Mary. It started to rain. They never said anything about rain today. But I thought it might when I saw all the clouds out this morning. So I came prepared and brought my umbrella. It was then that I noticed a little old lady with no umbrella. And no one was even bothering to help to help keep her dry. So I covered her with my umbrella. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's an umbrella. I love how I I didn't notice that. I love how Love how you can see a little spark of rain dropping on Mary's hair and the little old lady. The old lady is taller than you. How dare you call her little? <laughs> yeah, uh, and also the little old lady, lady, little old lady hair. Yeah, it is an umbrella. You scared me for a second. Thank you, dear. Of course. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Pardon me if this sounds rude, but were you one of her friends? No, at least I don't think so. Who died? Oh. Yes, um, I don't know. Oh. Well, it was my darling Miss Bella. She passed just last week. Oh. Oh. My condolences. Forgive me if this sounds rude, but... What is your relationship relationship to her? Me? Ah, yes. I'm... I'm Spella's mom. I never met you before, have I? That's okay, lots of people haven't. I'm very sorry for your loss. How are you feeling? Feeling great, by the way! Oh, not me. Okay, the old lady. 
feeling? It's impossible for me to feel anything but heartbroken. Oh. I truly don't believe I'll ever recover from this. No, no, don't say that. She wouldn't want you to think like that, right? Yes, I suppose you're right. If I may, how did she die? She was young. Oh, it's... You do not have to. I'm sorry if that was too intrusive. She... She was sick, you see. For a very long time. She was in the hospital for a while. We always thought that she was going to get better. It always seems that way at least. In the end, well... Things didn't go as we thought they would. I see. I'm very sorry that happened. It's alright. We tried our best. Mm-hmm. Oh. Do you think she's scared? Hmm? She's all alone now. Where she's going to go? And who will tell her how to get there? I don't know, why don't you throw a map inside the grave? <laughs> As a parting gift, I'm sorry again. <laughs> the way she is right now. Is she happy? Even if she's not... She's not alone. How can you say she's alone, when everyone is here beside her? I know she can't really say much about it, but... I'm sure she is happy to have all her friends and family by her side. All the people here... She meant a lot to them, didn't she? That's why they are all here to keep her company. I know lots of people like to think you're alone when you die. But I think it is hard to consider all this being alone, you know. She is not alone when we are all here. Yes, I suppose that is true. We are all together here, aren't we? Then... I suppose I'm glad she isn't alone. Yes, me too. I'm sorry if I've upset you by talking about her so much, miss. It is a funeral after all, I should behave more res respectfully. No, no, it's quite alright. Talking about it has actually helped a little bit. I feel a bit better hearing her thoughts. Is that so? I'm glad then. Yes, thank you. Why, I'm so sorry. I didn't even catch your name. It's alright. My name is Mary. Mary? Mary. Ah, hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Do you mean to say you're... Cemetery Mary. Cemetery Mary. <laughs> I see, my reputation precedes me. Yes, that is me. I see. Thank you, Mary. If Spella was here, I'm sure she want to thank you too. She is here. But... Hearing it from you means enough already. Thank you as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. It was a lovely funeral. The coffin was lowered and soon enough the rain stopped. I watched everyone say their goodbyes to her, to each other, and to each other, and then steadily they left. Soon it was just me and the lady. I have felt bad if I overstayed my welcome. I didn't want to outlast her at her own daughter's funeral. So I quietly said my goodbyes and left. But to my surprise, someone was there waiting for me on the sidewalk. Hmm. Oh, Reginald. Reginald? 
What are you doing here? Yeah, I don't remember this part. I think it was Croven. Oh, I just happened to be walking by when I noticed you in there. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. Everything's fine. She wasn't like a family member or anything like that. Ah, that's a relief. It is always a sad thing, is it not? Yes, it is. It is okay. I know you don't see it that way. Huh? Well, since you're here... Would you mind helping me with something? Yeah. Reginald... Reginald asks about it being sad, Mary replies, yes it is, then Reginald says... It's okay, I, I know you, you don't think like that, because Reginald thinks that Mary loves to see people die. Loves funeral. Even though, yeah, Ma Mary just enjoys funeral, not love seeing people die. Oh. I was just about to head down to the store to pick up a few things. Just some screw, nails, a hammer or two. Screw, nails, a hammer or two, okay. Just some stuff I'm running low on, or, sorry, on, or need to replace. You want my help for this? I'm not very educated in tools and all. Oh no, that's alright. You don't need to be. I just appreciate the company is all. But if you're right or not... Oh no. I mean, yeah, I can, I can come. It's not like I have anything better to do, haha. <laughs> Lovely. Come with me. I hope you don't mind that we'll have to walk. I would have brought my car, but it was too nice of a day to pass up the chance to walk. Yes, indeed. In the rain? <laughs> hmm. Rightly so. A little water never hurt anyone. Well, I guess you've got a point. Reginald's logic didn't really make sense to me, but I decided to accompany him to the hardware store anyways. <laughs> it's not like I ever go there, so it'd be a nice change of pace. Come to think of it, I didn't actually know where the hardware store was located until Reginald showed me. I guess it is good that I know now. If someone asks me where the hardware store is, I'll know how to I'll know how to answer. Yes, that's cool. The hardware store wasn't too far away from where we were, but it felt like quite a walk since I didn't know how to get there. Come to think of it, I can remember the last time I've ever actually been in in a hardware store. As Reginald held the door open for me, the smell of fertilizer above that forward. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, what a beautiful smell. <laughs> Ew, no. Quite intense. Mmm, yeah, really intense. Mmm, yeah, the smell. You smell that, Mary? That, that's, that's the smell of hard work and building and do-it-yourself. D-I-Y. Is that how you say it in English? <laughs> yes. We entered into what looked like the gardening section. Hey, that's my place, right? No? Ah, well, here we are. Sc screwy. Screwy says, eat more screws! Yes, eat more screws! <laughs> oh yeah, that's, oh, that's lovely. Is this new? I think this is new, or no? I forgot. I, perhaps I just forget. And... And decide 50%, 50%, is that 50% off? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> that looks cute though. Wildflowers, fragrant mix, classic mix, what? For be for bees? For, oh, for bees, not for best. I thought, <laughs> I'm dumb, sorry. I thought it was for best. Meadow mix, yeah, nice. There's also watering can and stuff, cool. I don't remember this though. Thank you again for coming along, I do appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you for inviting me. It's nice to go somewhere different. Oh, what is that you needed to get again? Mm hmm. Oh, I've got a list in my pocket, actually. Hey, would you like to turn it into a game? Oh, how do you mean? I'll split the list in half. 
We'll each take a hull and look for the items on our own. Then we'll come back here when we are finished. If you can get here before me, I will reward you. Reward me? Chocolate? Chocolate chips? Chocolate muffin with chips? <laughs> yes, yes, Mary, chocolate muffins. I'll get a prize? Huh? Prize? Something like that. Something like that. But you'll have to beat me first. Okay, I think I can do that, maybe. Let's do it then. I watched as Reginald ripped his list in two and handed one half over to me. Fair warning though, I know the store like the back of my hand. Hey, I might still be in. After that, Reginald went on his own and left me with my share of the list. Let's see here. I just noticed it's a smile. It, 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 why, why, why is it looking at us like that? I'm judging you for your sins, Mary. Antifreeze. An X? Question mark? Tap measure. Red poison? Hmm. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'll mention that to him later. For now, I had to get the things on the list. Antifreeze, eh? After all, I now had a challenge to win. Yes, indeed. But I didn't anticipate how the, how big the store was. It already looked big from the outside, but now that I was walking in it, mm hmm. It was huge. I love this part because it feels like <laughs> you, you know, with the killer running around. It feels like Reginald could be the killer, and then the vibe of this place is just like Reginald can appear from behind there or here, like chasing us through the store. Like, you know, the usual chasing, chased by a killer in a store, stuff like that, we are hiding. It was lovely. It was a weird feeling walking in here by myself, especially considering I don't really come to this place. I don't know what I was really expecting, but... And also, I thought Reginald will take us here with the eggs and stuff like that. But it turns out, yeah. No, it's just the atmosphere. It was so empty. I didn't even see any workers around. Despite that, I kept hearing footsteps. Yeah, that's that's the build up. That's lovely. Reginald? I called out. No response. See? <laughs> What am I doing? This place isn't scary. I'm just gonna get the things he asked me for. What was on that list? Wait, hey, where did the list go? Did I drop it somewhere? Oh shoot. Uh, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I remember what was on it. I'll just got those things and find my way back to the front. I just have to get anti-freeze. I pick up a gallon of antifreeze. Should I get this blue one? I don't know. Or wait, maybe he wants the green one. Maybe I'll ask him later. <laughs> Click all that apply. Well, uh, I think... Oh, uh, this one. So, I think it's the measuring tape. Axe? Hammer, not hammer antifreeze. Yeah, axe. I pick up an axe. Is this the right kind? I mean, he's using it for wood, right? So this should be good. What else would you use an axe for? Ha ha ha, good question, Mary. Good question. It's heavy. Mm hmm, red poison. I pick up a bottle of red poison. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I grab a roll of measuring tape. I always used to play with this as a kid. Same. Uh, I play with it too like a kid because I I just love how we can measure stuff long and try to see how long I could stretch it. Yes. You got it, Mary. Finish shopping. I pick up what I thought he needed and decided to just head back towards the counter. After all, if I took too long, I would lose the race. At least I knew my way back. At the very least, I get back to the meeting spot before Reginald did. I only had to wait for about a minute before he showed up. 
Ah, I see you made it back before me. Well done. Well, do you have everything? Yes, here you are. Ah, you did get it all. And just the brands I like too. You haven't been spying on me, have you? I think you're the one that's spying on me. <laughs> I think. And if it really is, there will be consequences. But yeah, perhaps you didn't spy on me, right? After making sure Reginald had everything he needed, he and I headed up to the front counter to pay for it all. One by one, he put all his stuff under the conveyor belt, and it slowly began to move across as the cashier begins to scan it. <laughs> Look at that, that's so cute. That's so adorable. You got quite a bit of stuff, Reginald. I feel bad. Oh, why is that? Well, you don't have a car with you, and now you gotta carry these bags back home. Would you want me to help you? Oh, don't worry, your little silly head about that. A little fresh air and exercise does me some good. You're not even going to take the bus? No, I'm quite alright. Reginald, can I, uh, ask you something? Yes, of course. Is everything alright? Hmm, export a job. Red poison. Yes, it is unfortunate. But my apartment has been having a bit of a rodent problem lately. You know, I just don't like red poison because... <laughs> I feel like we are committing... Environmental genocide, like... Not environmental, bi biodiversity genocide, there's just a lot of things that... Red poison could affect small living beings, and it just... Makes me sad. Usually, if there's a red, I catch it and... Just like walk away for a long, quite a distance, and really sit outside, and bye-bye, little buddy, like that. Yeah, like that. This reminds me of the... I forget the game. Also developed by AK, by the way, Arcade Kitten. It's holiday shopping, I guess, yeah, holiday shopping. <laughs> so when I play holiday shopping, there was a rat suddenly scuttling around, and... <laughs> and I'm so busy trying to catch the rat while playing the game, because the rat is just sneaky. Like, I need to keep my eyes on the game and also on the red, like, oh no, don't you move? Like, y you know, I'm kind of guessing what's the perfect moment to catch the red, <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I put it on the card above, by the way. And of course, the landlord won't take, our take care of it, so somebody has do to do something. Does that upset you? Well, I don't know. I wish you used a more human way to get rid of them. Mm, yes. Right, I see. In that case, I won't buy it anymore. Well, after this time, I suppose. Really? Thanks, it makes me feel better. Hey, do you want anything? I want you, Reginald. <gasps> Mary? No, you cannot say that. And you cannot do that. I do not allow you with Reginald. God! Reginald, go away from here! I do not approve of this relationship, but oh well, if, if, if Mary wants to, then... <laughs> she, she's all grown up. <laughs> yes, you can go with Reginald all you want, Mary. But if you ever hurt Mary, Reginald, I will hunt you down. Huh? They've got a shelf over there with some candy. I don't mind buying you a chocolate bar if you want one. Chocolate! Oh no, that's alright, you don't have to. Are you sure? I mean... <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be my price for winning the race? No, no. I'm still thinking about what your price should be. But since we are here anyways, might as well ride. Consider it a uh, thank you for spending time with me today. Are you real? Are you really sure? Of course I am. It's just a candy bar. It's not a big deal. In that case, thank you. Reginald bought me a chocolate bar. Hold up, Mary. Let me let me see that chocolate bar. It could contain, you know, I don't know those kind of things. 
Who knows if there's a knife inside the chocolate bar or even a gun? It made me very happy. I made sure to thank him for it, even though he insisted it was his thanks to me. After we left the store, Reginald had to head home, saying he ought to drop off his stool and stuff. He said he felt bad not being able to invite me to do more. I told him it was completely okay, he didn't need to do anything. I had a nice time today. Time must really fly. Because when I checked the time afterwards, we were already well into the afternoon. I ended up, I ended up heading home a little early that day. I didn't have much else to do outside, so I went home. I read some books and made myself dinner, and then put the leftovers in the fridge. And then I wash up, put on my, put on my pajamas. And well, do I even have to explain what I did after that? Yes, uh, I don't know what you did after that. Hmm, what did you do? Oh, this again. Yeah, I already know. I thought you were going to read. I thought you were going to read Sojo manga. Hi again. Hello. So, what did you do today? What? Well, if you're not going to talk about my parents to me, I at least want he to hear about something that you're doing. To hear? Okay. We shouldn't talk about what I do. Why not? I want to. I understand. Maybe eventually. But not today. I'm sorry. I need to leave. Good night, Mary. I yawn and lie down. Mm. Who's, texti texti who's texting me so late at night? Reginald. Mary? Are you awake? Yes. Yes, I'm awake. I understand if you are, and of course. It's a bit late, isn't it? But whenever you read this, do respond, okay? Reginald? Why are you up so late? Oh, hello. Don't worry about that. I just thought of the perfect phrase for you. And I had to tell you as soon as possible as I possibly could. Really? What is it? You love seeing my work the other day, right? Unless you are just flattering me. No 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 no. She love it. Anyways, anyways. I was thinking you could come to my workshop. Oh. And I could show you how coffin is made. Hmm, yeah. Mary, do, do, do you need anything like a taser or a spray? Just, just, just for your safety, you know? I'm not sure about this person. At least, the way I do it. I thought it'd be a nice idea if you're into it. You're serious? I'm allowed to come see? Of course you are. I wouldn't have invited you otherwise. Then, yeah, I'd love to see. I think that'd re be really cool. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm often alone, so it will be nice to have some company. Here, I'll send you the directions momentarily. Reginald gave me the directions to his workshop, and we made plans to meet there in a few days. I always wondered what went into making a coffee, and so I was plenty excited to be able to see it for myself. There's only so much you can read online about stuff like this. Being able to experience it, experience it for Sun will be something entirely different. Honestly, it was a bit hard to contain how giddy I was. I felt like a kid again, excited for a field trip the next day. Oh. Well, back when I still went to school with other kids and all. <laughs> Oof. I mean... Why do you need to feel like kid again to feel giddy? Just feel giddy all the time. Right? Live your life, be happy. D d just don't care about anything else, alright? Anyways, I was excited. And after feeling like I've been waiting forever, the day finally arrived. Getting off the bus at the class stop, I walked to the location where Reginald told me I should go. But I have to end the episode right here, because it's been quite a while. 
So I guess that's all for Cemetery Mary. See you later then in the next episode. Oh, Mary. Bye-bye.